what's up YouTube? Today we have a stability ball core workout for you. So all you're gonna need is a fully inflated fit ball and an exercise mat. Let's get started. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa Wilkersdorfer, where I help you move better, live better, and feel better. Today's workout is going to be a core finisher. This is a perfect time for you to do the workout after you've warmed up, after a weight workout, maybe you just got home from a run. Perfect time. Grab your ball. Let's get started. I'm going to demo the first move for you, which is the crunch. So go ahead and have a seat on your ball. We're gonna be doing 50 seconds. It's gonna go by short and fast. So come on all the way down. Now the crunch, you can have your hands behind your head or across your chest if you have shoulder issues. When the timer goes, you're gonna give me a crunch and lower. Make sure your feet are nice and firmly planted on the mat and they don't go anywhere. And crunch. All right, you ready? We have five four, three, two, and go. Crunch it up and lower. Now we only have 10 minutes. Focus on the quality of movement instead of how many crunches you can do. And breathe. Exhaling every time you come up. Inhaling every time you come back down. When the timer goes, we got the knee lift. Quick effective workouts are my favorite, especially core burners to do after I get off the bike. A quick 10 minutes, boom, my core is done. I keep moving my feet because I keep sliding here. I think the traction's wearing out on my shoes. Keep your glutes still. And time. Now the one leg lift. Bring your butt down a little and find your balance. Put your elbows on the ball and lift a leg and lower and lift and lift. This one's a little bit more challenging. Staring down at your pelvis. Now, if you don't need your hands here, you can place them back behind your head. Well, that's going to be harder. <laughs> and breathe. Make sure your ball is on something that's not slippery. Is your weight shifting? If it is, see if you can't fix that. And lift. Maybe come up a little bit higher if you need that extra balance and support. And just nice and slow and steady. Nothing fast. If you roll off the ball, just get back on. <laughs> And lower. All right, torso twist. Roll all the way out. Put your hands up. Interlace your fingers. Legs are wide. Bring it over to one side. Back to center. And the other side. Just alternating and rotating that torso. Your hips will move. That's all right. Your feet are planted. Your head stays down if it can, and just twist. Now if you have back issues, skip this one and just stick with the regular crunches. And twist. Make your mobility work for you. And the most important thing is to keep your hips up. I know your glutes are gonna be on fire by now, but tomorrow your abs will thank me and come up. All right, back to those crunches. Hands behind your head. Readjust yourself on the ball and crunch. Plant your feet. Hands wherever is comfortable behind your head or across your shoulder blades. I think the crunches on the ball are a little bit more effective on your torso if you have low back pain. Low back pain and crunches don't mix very well. People often come to my office. I'm a massage therapist as well, and this is 
an awesome exercise I give them for homework to do to build their core strength. Along with some other ones that I have later on in the workout here is the dead bug. And breathe. All right, come on off. Carefully, we got a plank. I'm gonna show you two different ways on how to do it. Bent knees is first. Hips forward, shoulders away from your wrists. You can either have a fist or interlace your fingers and just hold. Now, if this is too easy, you can always go up and do a full plank. We've got about 10 more seconds here and then we'll take it up to a full plank. Now, what I mean by shoulders away, I don't want you crunched all the way forward, shoulders forward. I want it right underneath your elbow. All right, come forward a little. If your mat's not long enough, full plank. Bring it up, pull your belly in, keep the shoulders away from the wrists, and hold. When that timer goes, dead bug. And lower. All right, come all the way down to your back. Lay all the way down, bring the knees up and right arm and left leg and lower. Now really press that ball into your opposite knee and opposite hand. You're squeezing it. You don't want it to move. Now if this is too easy, straighten those legs, push opposite arm and leg, left arm, right leg. Ground that tailbone. Keep looking up. We're almost there. And reach, only go as low as you can keep your back down. And lower the ball. All right, single leg stretch. Put your legs in the ball. Hands behind the head. Give me a curl up, one right knee to you. Push and change, push and change. Right leg is moving, left leg is on the ball as you push and change. One more. All right, right leg on the ball, left knee to you. Push and change. Keep looking down at your navel. Now, if your neck is sore, go ahead and put that neck down. Do what's going to work best for you today. You feel your core yet? This is one of my favorite adapted Pilates moves. And lower. Lower your head for a moment. Give me a little stretch. All right, double leg. Hands behind the head. Push out. Bend it in. Now your hands are at the base of your head. You're curled up to the tips of your shoulder blades. And you're pushing in and out with that ball. Now if it happened to move, just bring it back behind your ankles again. And push. Sometimes it does that. It'll travel up and down your leg. Come on, this is our last one. Hang in there, stay up on the tips of those shoulder blades. My core is burning just as much as it is yours. And breathe. Six seconds. I cheated, I looked at the clock. <laughs> and time. Bring it all the way in. Give it a little stretch. And let's do the single leg version all over again. Your right leg on the ball, left leg up, and push and change. Push and change. I lied, our last, our last set of the double leg was the last set, but I decided I made a group decision to do single leg stretch all over again. One more, couple seconds. If that ball moved, just go ahead and reposition it. There we go. 
keep with this leg and breathe when that timer goes let's change legs left leg on push and change I'm going to reposition it right underneath my ankle and push and lower now lower your head especially if your abs are talking to you like I just did they're, they're a little tired from yesterday's workout I did a big core workout for my membership channel that was like 20 minutes long of nothing but core so my abs are talking to me a little bit today push and change I'm going to bring my head back up my ball moves so I'm going to reposition it I love these balls, but sometimes they just can get away from you. Elbows wide on the tips of your shoulder blades. I promise this is our last exercise and then we are done. All right, bring it in. Give it a nice big hug. Stretch your arms out. I'm gonna bring mine out to a T and just bring a breath in. And a breath out. All right, I'm going to still my ball and come on up. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you got a great core workout and your abs are on fire. If you want longer workouts, be sure to check us out in the Fit Club. It's our membership site that has videos on there from 10 to 50 minutes from Pilates to weight training, and of course my favorite, the stability ball. If you're not ready to do that just yet and you wanna keep working out with us on YouTube, you can also support the channel by buying us a coffee. That way we can keep working out together and keep the videos coming to you. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I post new free workouts to the YouTube channel. Until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bye.